in this video, I hope to show you how I put graphite back on action parts. These old wooden piano parts, in order to reduce friction, had some of their contact points laminated with graphite and it reduces the friction so that things move smoothly. Anyway, when I wash the parts, much of the graphite comes off. So it needs to be put back on. Um, let's see if I can get this in here. They sell non-slip Teflon paints. Uh, I think one of them is called Emerilon, or may have used to be called that. I don't know what they use now. But this is the traditional material. And the secret to getting it to adhere is water. So, like all other applications, you apply the water slowly and try to keep it from flowing over the edge because that makes a mess. And what I'm trying to do is to flood the surface a little bit and then let the water wick, into, wick in. And I want to do this a few times and let the surface absorb a fairly good amount of water because it is the action of the water leaving the wood that for mysterious reasons makes the graphite and I'm using simple common powdered graphite it seems to be what makes the graphite adhere and laminate into a really tough surface that you can't clean off very easily so Start with a piece of hammer felt. Let's see, just for. Let's see. Never hurts to wet it one last time. So, when the piece of wood seems to have taken in all the water it really cares to, and that, you know, that's happened when it really takes a while for the water to wick in. At that point, you take a piece of hammer felt that's just rubbed in loose dry powdered graphite and you treat it like a powdered donut. So, just stroke it with that a little bit. I'm using a little bit of an angle. Go this way and it rubs it this way, go that way, it rubs that way, that way. And you keep recharging your applicator because it's only the dry stuff that it's going to grab. And you want to give it all that it wants early in the process, like this. And it seems like that's getting a lot on there, I suppose it is, but this phenomenon only persists as long as the water is working its way through the graphite. So you just keep charging the applicator and coming back and all of a sudden as the last of the water was working its way through the graphite. The way the material adheres changes. And it starts to lay and grab in this nice, shiny, smooth, uniform fruit surface.
just as the last of the water leaves, it really burnishes up nicely. Graphited surface. Let me find one. That was done like yesterday. Piece of cloth. And here's one I did yesterday. Okay, just a piece of cloth. A nice clean spot. And you can see, it doesn't really come off. You know, you get a few stray specks. But that's a very slippery surface. It's beautiful. And uh, after this, I will do this face, that face on the tender, and I've already done the faces of the balance ears. Repetition levers, if you will. And uh, this is all part of. There we go. This is all part of bringing these old parts back to performance standard. It's birth to motto. 88 five minute jobs is an eight hour day. Anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Thanks.